Hi everyone, wanted to give you a training summary and a little bit longer of a video today. I haven't done a training summary in a couple weeks and just wanted to give you guys a look at my training recently as well as a couple of special moments um, in my life recently. I was re-baptized actually um, this past weekend and so I have a little bit of footage of that at the very end but I also wanted to talk about kind of some things that I've been doing with my nutrition and just overall um, how I've been feeling this prep. So here, as you can see, I am still doing block pulls. So I get a lot of questions about, you know, why do you do block pulls from the mini blocks as opposed to deadlifts from the floor? So for me, as I get leaner, as I get closer to contest, um, this here was 315 pounds for sets of seven, I believe, on this day. Felt really good. As I get closer to contest and I get leaner, as you can see here, you'll see my legs are pretty darn lean. This was 275 pounds um, for 4x8. So getting close to the leanest that I've probably ever been, um, sitting right under 145 pounds at 5'7", and my off-season high body weight was about... 163 to 164 pounds so I'm down almost 20 pounds um, which is significant and my leverages have changed quite a bit so for me pulling from the floor uh, I'm pretty tall I'm not extremely tall but I'm not short at all um, I'm a little over 5'7 so about 5'7 five, 5'7 seven, five, seven and a half some people measure me 5'8 I don't know whatever I'm about 5'7 to 5'8 somewhere in there and as I get leaner, I just, my, I have a very long trunk. Um, my ability to brace and stabilize my core and deadlifts just goes down. So I choose not to do deadlifts from the floor just for the sole reason of possibly tweaking my back. I've had a lower back injury um, since pretty much high school. I just tend to just get a tight lower lumbar and I have to be very careful about it. So taking out um, pulling from the floor is just a smart move on my part to keep as injury free as possible so here was leg press I'm still adding in very heavy leg press uh, two days per week on my on my leg days I'm still doing a push pull lower split um, and enjoying that I've been doing that for several months now um, but just the frequency works, and these are cable pull-throughs here. I believe I was doing 165 pounds for sets of 13 or, four, or 12. Um, as you'll notice, too, if you follow me on Instagram, I do post more of my workout videos daily on my Instagram story, which is up, like, if you click on my profile picture on Instagram. My Instagram is katien100. You click on my profile, if I have a story from that day, then it'll pop up. So it's kind of like Snapchat, but just on Instagram. Um, glued ham raise here, so still adding in lots of you know, just targeted work for my hamstrings and my glutes. And not slacking on my training at all. Uh, energy obviously is a little bit lower because I'm lower body fat and my food intake is not extremely high <laughs> right now. Um, just as I am in contest prep but one thing that I have noticed is that I tend to actually get a little sleepy after this is something I wanted to mention and talk about after I um, eat a lot of carbs so I've been I wouldn't say carb backloading but I make sure I save quite a few carbs for night because it helps me sleep better um, I was having trouble sleeping not really having any trouble right now and you'll see here, this is the longest grind ever. I had 100 pounds, so 50 pound dumb dumbbells for 5 by 10, I believe, on bench press or dumbbell bench press. I am not doing barbell bench press. I've had a shoulder injury for about four years. As I get leaner, I notice that that injury, just with my leverages on bench and not having as much body fat, um, my shoulder just is cannot hold up to benching to barbell benching several days per week so I am currently dumbbell benching two times per week and my strength has actually uh, stayed pretty consistent so on dumbbell bench and then also on block pulls I've been 
pleasantly surprised on how my strength has stayed. Overhead press movements and, and um, shoulder press movements, as you can see here, have definitely gone down. Um, but as I lose 20 pounds, I'm not upset about it. You know, you have to make sure you keep your main goal your main goal. <laughs> my main goal is not to be a powerlifter right now. It's to be the best bodybuilder I can be and to get stage lean at this point. Um, so I have a couple months left in prep and really giving it my all. Um, here on lateral raises, as you can see, I'm only using, I believe that was 10 pounds. Um, I do not... Um, I do not use heavy weight on laterals. I believe it is a terrible idea. Too many things can go wrong, especially if you're swinging the weight. Um, I prefer to use light weight and then get the majority of my shoulder volume from compound exercises such as dumbbell press, overhead press, uh, dumbbell seated, alternating dumbbell press. As you saw in that last video, I have I like to alternate my shoulder press um, and use dumbbells one at a time. It just works best for me. I can focus on each rep individually and I like to sit um, sit down too so I can I just feel like I can focus on each rep more. Um, here is 335 pounds for I believe I did four by four here on the mini blocks again as I mentioned I don't do pulls from the floor due to my back and just keeping as healthy as possible throughout this prep and leading up to my shows. Last time I was stage lean, I actually was trying to power lift too much, was not keeping my health in, in um, I guess you could say, in the forefront of my mind, I was not being the smartest that I could have been about training, and I ended up hurting my back pretty bad, and that ended up causing me some issues for my prep for Raw Nationals in 2015. Um, but this year I am just competing in bodybuilding. I am not competing in powerlifting. Even though I am approaching the 63 kilogram class, I will not compete as a 63 kilogram lifter. It doesn't make any sense um, for me to be competing at stage lean body fat in powerlifting, and I have no desire to do so anyways. Um, right now, my focus is uh, being the best that I possibly can be, and it's been really exciting these past couple weeks because I have noticed some just shifts in my body composition, and all of a sudden I have abs, which is pretty cool. I have never really had abs before in my life. They're usually the last thing to come in, so I tend to store more body fat in my core and on my back. Um, my lower back, not my upper back. My lower back, my abdominal area, is where I tend to store a lot of my body fat. So that's where I have lost a significant amount of size um, and body fat. My legs actually stay pretty lean in the off season, as well as my arms and shoulders and upper body. But things are really starting to pop now. So that was a video of, as you guys know, Split squats are one of my favorites, um, and I use a rod to keep me balanced. I also like adding in alternating bicep work. So here I'm using the isolation just bicep curl at Beyond Limits, which is one of the gyms that I train out of in Columbus. And I prefer to do one arm at a time. As I showed you guys earlier, I also prefer to do one arm at a time for shoulder press variations. I feel that I can just focus on the movement better for one at a time and concentrate on the contraction that I need to make as opposed to possibly swimming through the motion or um, one side not being as good as the other. Uh, it's just a personal preference, but as I was mentioning before about my carbs, I tend to save quite a few of those for night. It's just been working out better, so no, I'm not a believer in carb backloading, but I think you should do what works best for you and best for energy. And I noticed that if I have a moderate carb meal before I lift and moderate fat and then you know, normal protein, so I typically spread my protein between four to five meals per day. So my protein right now is at 175 grams per day, so that's about 30 to 40 grams um, per day. 
and or I'm sorry per day per meal so typically my breakfast would be something with egg whites and then post-workout I usually have whey and then at night I usually have more egg whites or like lean deli meat and then before bed I might have eggs or turkey or something of that nature so um so as you can see here, this was footage from my pull day. I do, on pull days, I do block pulls, I do back, and then I also do bicep uh, work. So usually each day I have a couple of bicep exercises that I add in. Um, not a ton, I'm just maintaining volume as best as possible, and then, or just trying to, you know, progressively overload as, as best as I, as best as I can. Um, being in prep, but as I mentioned, my energy has been a little bit lower, but I still feel strong. Um, even though energy might be up, down a bit, um, strength is still there. So I wanted to share this with you guys here at the end. I was actually rebaptized uh, this past weekend at my church, One Church, Columbus. Um, it's just been a really big year for me. And this meant a lot. Uh, this is my pastor, Greg Ford, and I was baptized in the 11 a.m. service, which um, was just awesome to have my friends and family there and them there supporting me. It's been a rededication of my life this year to my faith and to Jesus. Um, and really, baptism is a symbol of, of us being cleansed, re reborn, essentially, into into um into Jesus and, and just the fact that he came came to this earth and, and cleansed us from our sins and this was the first year where I actually have um, just taken that on myself and just felt an extreme passion for it myself. And it's not because my parents were telling me to believe in something or telling, or someone else was telling me to do it. It's because I made the decision myself. And I felt that this baptism was just a, um, and I went into conditioning after I got re-baptized. Um, this was just a symbol of my decision, um, making it for myself this year and really letting, letting God back into my life and letting him work in my life and serving him as opposed to serving my own self-interest and, and just going to church because my parents told me to go to church. I have made the decision this year and it's really been an incredible life changing year for me um, in that regard. So I was baptized as an infant but it was just a very personal decision and something I wanted to do. And then something fun, I went to the Zed concert. Uh, so electronic dance music is literally like my go-to favorite type of music for lifting. Um, I love it and seeing Zed in concert was absolutely mind-blowing. I have never seen a light show like this in my entire life. Um, it was pretty mesmerizing and the music too I absolutely love. So here's just a little bit of footage, and it was a lot of fun. I went with my friend Alicia. Um, the lights were insane, and it just was a really good time. Um, so overall, it's been it's been a good couple weeks. Hopefully, this is a little bit of an update for you guys, and I apologize for the delay. Um, hopefully, I will be back with another one soon. As always, let me know if you have any questions below, and it might be a video idea for the future. Alright, have a great week, guys, and I'll talk to you soon.